Hello everyone, I am Nick Harrison with Rocky River Woodworks and today I'm going to talk about five ways that you can fix a sag in a long shelf. Before we begin, I want to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe. You can also find this article and more on my website at www.rockyriverwoodworks.com. All right, so five ways to fix a sag in a shelf. If you're making a bookcase or something that has a large span of a shelf, sometimes it can sag in it. Um, maybe not when you're making it, but maybe when you're giving it to the customer and they start loading it up with a bunch of weight, whether that be books or antiques or whatever. So the five ways how you can fix that. Way number one. Way number one is just gonna be to, if this is your backer board of your shelf, this is the back of the shelf, and then here's your shelf getting installed. Way number one, instead of just having some sort of pin that holds these up, is to actually put brad nails or even wood screws through the back here along the way and tighten up your spacing to give it more support. So if you have screws back here every five inches or every 10 inches, maybe you wanna do half of that. Every, if you're doing every 10 inches, maybe do every five inches, something like that. That'll give it more support, keep it in line, hold it up a little bit better. Way number two. Way number two is to add some sort of strip on the end of your shelf. So for example, this is your backer board, this is your shelf up against your backer board. Keep in mind the backer board's still here. Add some sort of support here or here. This would be nice, especially if you're doing plywood shelves, it acts as an edge banding and also to kind of hide that edge and it also gives some support. Come through the back, you know, come through the front here, this way, um, to add some support. If you don't want to see any uh, nail or screw head holes and you don't want to hide that or fill that, you could also drill pocket holes here, drill underneath up into this support. By doing this support, you're going to keep this shelf completely straight as long as this is solid wood or even plywood. Um, it, it'll keep more rigidity on the front um, along your shelf. Way number three. The third way to support a saggy shelf or to fix a sagging shelf is kind of the opposite of way number two. Way number two is to put a, a, a board here. Way number three is to just add a support back here. So if here's your backer piece and here's your shelf, if I have enough hands, here's your shelf on here, add this up under here. It almost acts as a ledger board. Um, for the shelf to sit on top of. Run that the full length or even blocks of spacers, however often you think you need, to help support that sagging shelf. Way number four. The fourth way is to simply cut a dado in the back piece, um, in the backer piece. So a dado is just a groove like that that will accept the shelf. So, um, and, and ideally if you have a little bit thicker material, or this is just three quarter inch plywood, but let's say you had an inch and a half or two inch thick material, you could cut that dado super deep. The full length of this shelf piece for this to slide into, wood glue will help support that as well. Way number five. Way number five is not gonna be ideal, depending on the design of your piece. But, now way number five is to add vertical supports. Basically, instead of making it a long shelf, make it two individual cubbies, if you will. It's not as bad if you have a face frame. Sometimes people make a 24 inch cabinet with double doors and a face frame in the middle. Um, but behind that face frame is just open. So you have one 24 inch shelf. Add a vertical support under, behind that face frame. You're not gonna see it. And as long as the customer's okay or your design um, will accept that, then just put a, a support behind that underneath your shelf to help, um, to help keep that shelf from sagging. So those are my five quick tips on how to fix a sagging shelf. One thing about each one of those is they can be used in conjunction with each other. So try the less, the less, um, less difficult or less invasive one first. If that doesn't work, step it up. Add one plus two. Add my third one plus the fourth one. Keep going until you get the rigidity that you need. Normally you're not gonna do a shelf that's six feet long, but if you do, um, or I'm, let me take that back. Normally you're not gonna do a shelf that's six feet long with a really thin material um, without some sort of support. But if you do, like I said, just keep adding up um, the different ways that I've talked about until you get something that is supportive um, and that will suit your needs. All right, everybody, thank you for watching this video. If you found value in it, hit the thumbs up button down below to like the video. Also leave a comment down below what you thought, what you thought I missed, if my advice was good, if my advice was bad, leave that comment too. I don't care, I sleep like a baby. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the bell icon so you don't miss any videos that I put out. I'm trying to put out one video a week in 2021 and I'm gonna try my hardest not to skip a week. 
I got a late start because last week was my first video, but this week going forward, I'm going to try to do a video every week. I don't think you're going to want to miss it. Thanks for watching. You can find me on social media at Rocky River WW. And again, you can find this article and more on my website at www.rockyriverwoodworks.com. Thank you for watching.